Hello everyone, I'm Eight Shades of Jane. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We're back where we started, or back where we left off, I should say. We're still in Hogsmeade. I just sold a bunch of stuff that had some gear that I didn't want. But then I noticed there's also a mission right here. It looks like Professor Hecate. So let's go find out which- I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Oh, it's not Hecate. Never mind. That just answered my question. So it's a random subquest that just popped up. So let's see what she has to say. And then I think the plan today will be to get back with Sebastian and find out what his quest is, where it's going. All right. All right, Betty, what do you have? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. She doesn't like Hecate. Thank you for asking. You're Hecate's sister. I'm Betty. Doppelganger. Betty Bugbrook. I know. Everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, it's not the, the one last I caught, time I is saw it? Her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear Was that. Was her blood? I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. The unicorn is probably hiding from you because she feels betrayed. She got hurt because of you and then you left. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. All right, lady. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. All right, Professor Hecate, you can stop the act now. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. And be warned, she's a... All right, let's do this since we're close by, and then we're gonna head back to Hogsmeade. I need we'll... to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. They all have white coats. We're going the wrong way. Didn't it just tell me to go here? I'm gonna say, whoops. We also got a letter from Natty, so there's another subquest right there huh? on the Harlow. The Harlow and Victor Rook, Rook, Rockwood? I keep messing up his Rookwood. I don't know why I keep messing up his name. So we'll see how much we can get to today. I probably shouldn't even bother with this unicorn mission, but we're right here. I do want to kill these guys. Oh. 
when I hit him. Yeah, stop hiding. You were saying. Your poaching days are over. No, that's for sure. That's yeah. You tell him. Take those. See some eggs as well. And some poachers. Are those poachers? No, they're wolves. But what are those? Are those all wolves? Oh, well, thank you for that. It's a lucky one. I have a chance. All you guys just carry potions, nothing good. Unicorn Den. Get ready. Avelia. Oh, there's some poachers over there too. I don't know what they think I'll see around here. I kinda wanna is that a is he stuck? If he's stuck, I can sneak on him, but There's more poachers. Rebellion. They're all looking for. Is that a poacher? No. Can bring them. Can I reach it? Oh. Rebellion. But there's more. I'm staying on higher ground. Can bring them. Is that insta kill? There's another one. Oh, he didn't die. Alright, now let's get ready. Revelio. Come on, Hazel. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna trust you. Hazel must be here somewhere. Ha. Which one? How do I know which one's Hazel? Uh. Get down there. Uh. Should I just pick any of them? Oh, yes. oh, my God. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Damn it. How do I know which one's a Hazel? Oh, no, we don't want to kill them. Avelia. Find and rescue Hazel. Oh, this one? Oh, she's gold. Is that the one? Set 
Calm yourself. I mean you no harm. That was not Hazel. I'm sorry. Whatever. It was a gold unicorn, though. Alright, well. There was only one other unicorn. The one that got away. The only thing is, my room doesn't have enough space for all of them, so... What? What startled her? Damn it. She ran right by the wolf. And get close to her. What if I hide? Pavelia. I am invisible, right? She keeps freaking out when she gets close to me. Okay, I can't loot that. Is that Hazel? Her coat doesn't look very bright to me. And she doesn't look injured either. Love you. Got her this time. Right? Is that Hazel? I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. Well, that was Hazel. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. All right. Well, sure. We need to head back anyway. Get my weapons back. There's someone right here. Confringo. Oh, was he sleeping? I'm sorry. That was mean of why are there Rebellion. two animal things? Is that all just for the unicorn? Did I go in here yet? How do I know if I've been in a cave or not? Sneak on them. It's more fun that way. What are you guys looking at? The unicorn's gone. You can hear your friend collapse. Oh, they're looking for unicorns? Yeah, they're all gone. This place, did I go here? I must have. Okay. Oh, it's for those things. Yep. Nope. Okay, let's go back to this old lady. Then we'll head head back to Sebastian. Ha! Huh. Did you find my pointy pony? She's not a pony. It's a Madame unicorn. Madame Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? Mm hmm. For a fee? <laughs> We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. Mm -hmm. Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. I will. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, we're back to Feldcroft. We're gonna meet our friend Sebastian. Even though he was a total asshole last time. But he apologized. 
Maybe it's lucky that I'm just interested in finding this cure for Anne. As long as we don't go too far. Which I think, I don't know. I have mixed feelings now about this relic that he found. Really creepy looking thing. And I just don't think that applying a curse to remove a curse works. I can hardly see them. They're not even taller than the grass. Where's your head? I guess it doesn't matter now. Oh, that music is all cheery. <laughs> Gosh. Now I don't feel bad about killing them at all. Pavelio. that Sebastian wants me to meet him here even though he's been banished. It's alright. It's alright, Sophia. I won't let you die. Oh, uh, Anne. Oh yeah, he sent her the crest to meet us. How you doing, Anne? Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Mm -mm. Does Ominous know about this? Mm -mm. He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. Oh, you like we Ominous. don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. What about it? But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Of course. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. Oh no, you want us to go back in there? This is more complicated than we thought. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. No, it's not. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. And who's the Ominous. sacrifice? Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Mm. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the ministry about all of yes, this he if would. he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. Oh, is that why he's At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So... I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. I'm not so sure about that. He could do that kind of like a his own repentance. Where will I shall leave you to it? Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. I don't like this at all. There's no way I could warn the uncle. I hope Ominous says no. Was this the house? A little more. They keep locking me out.
Oh, that's the green one. Oh, that's the green one. That's fine. Yeah, they keep blocking me out. It kind of sucks that I can't talk to them. Like, where's your uncle? I guess he's not here. All right, well, that was a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna go. Another adventure, are we? All right, so there is another Sebastian mission, and I kind of did this on my own, but basically, it's a tunnel that's full of goblins. I fought a bunch of goblins and came out of here. So, and I missed that chest apparently. Another scar. Any other chest? No. So we're on the other side of the map. Look at that. So we have to meet Sebastian at the coast. We're still far away. I haven't really. I haven't really, I don't know, gone too far down this area, but there's a lot of goblins. Seems quiet. So eventually I'll go venture out here, do a little more exploring, and uh, yeah, see, there's goblins everywhere. I'm not sure how. Sebastian got out here by himself. I wonder why he wants to meet me at the coast. It must be something really important. He wants to be in an area where there's like thousands of goblins. Should I bother doing those balloons? No, because backtracking. I'll do it on my way back. Yeah, I can't wait to explore this area. What are those great things up ahead? Rocks? Oh, they're not great things. I don't know what they are. Are those just trees? Now that I'm getting closer to them. Yeah, they're just trees. Is this deserted? Oh no, it's not. Oh, that was close. Nothing pleasant about this coast. Nope. Why are we here? Your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It I've, doesn't I've work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Wow! What the fuck is your problem? I do care about Anne, but I'm tired of explaining myself. Perhaps we should part ways. That's... That's not what I meant. I... What did you mean, then? just not getting answers. I need answers. For Anne. I know. Now, shall we see where the triptych led us here? Yeah, shut them up. Let's go, quickly, before we spot Seriously. him. Seriously. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. Sorry, are you I saying we should why. be invisible? Raiding, I imagine. 
This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables, but it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Is there a road that we can take? Am I doing this the hard way? Let's not do any rock climbing. The more Sebastian, like his true colors are coming out, I'm really not going to feel bad if I, if I betray him. <laughs> Seriously. Like setting our own agenda aside to help him out. Uh, there's a four of you guys. See myself doing this sort of thing forever though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. He's facing me, huh? Alright, I got you, I got you. I got you, little man. Oh shit. Can't go through that door. Open up a pouch. And a chest. I see you. Oh, just for a damn potion. All right. Well, this is this is grand. Can we just? Yeah. How do we get through here? We just oh. <laughs> oh, joke's on me. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. What Not those? everyone does. I know that. <sighs> All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. Why not? You're afraid of silence? The sign of an insecure man. Okay, I guess we have to climb? Is that really how it's gonna go? I don't think we can climb that, can we? The broom, I guess. And you can't. Did I take a wrong turn again, which wouldn't surprise me because I'm terrible with directions? How did I miss that? Sebastian distracted me. It's his fault. The stargazing thing to the left too. That's nice. I bet the festal nest is close by. That's just, that's just for a Merlin thing. There they are. Let's go. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. I should just watch you die. I'll be quiet. Ah, oh, now you want to do it my way? Two. Sebastian. I thought you were gonna just barge in there, Sebastian. What happened?
And no one else saw or cared. What am I hearing? Pavilion. It's two over there. Oh, I could fall dead asleep on my feet. I could. You're next, buddy. Enjoy suffering, do you? Hmm. I think we're gonna have to actually fight those guys. Didn't see anything. Can you sneak up up here. It's looking right at me. They got what they deserved. Just... What were oh. you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You wasn't you thinking. could have got us killed. But I didn't. Yeah, cause you ran back to me, you dick. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Yeah, we are not gonna be friends after this. You can just wait over there. There's a pouch under the rocks, great. Revelio. Anything else? Clear. I'm not talking to you, man. Ooh, 150. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword they or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. One survived. Good job, man. This place is pretty, uh. I don't know. Taking all those bracket. Oh! I did not see you. Lumos. Lumos. Bastion, you stay over there, so it'll take a lot faster. Okay. Was this worth it? What are the chickens doing here? Who's this? Dear resident, your chicken coop inspection will occur in two weeks of time in accordance with the ministry's investigation into rumors of the illegal breeding of basilis. Well, that's not good. Please ensure that your premises are towed free and be reminded that the punishment for such illegal breeding endeavors is long, lifelong detention in Azkaban. Please contact the Department of Regulation and Control of Magical Beast, Ministry of Mag... Mag... Magic. With any questions. Well, yeah, he didn't make it very far. I don't know why they always make it seem like it's gonna be Lumos. a good Lumos. piece of gear when it probably isn't. Creepy. Yeah, you get back there. Just set them on fire, you know? What am I doing? Silent as a grave. I'm about to put you in a grave, Sebastian. 
I agree. Only good wizard, dead wizard. Ranrog's got that right, and I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. I mean, you goblins, you could... There are some bad wizards, that's correct. Come on. Need me shoot. It's two and two. I sneak behind this guy. Look at the us. That's what I wanted. Two for one. I'll take your money. And you, I think we might actually have to fight, or can I sneak from the side? I think, yeah. Don't worry about it. This must be it. Sebastian, wait! Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen I've to always me. Been cautious. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lodgok said, Oh, your goblin friend? Stop it, that's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing, to find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lodgok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. Mm -hmm. And I have been for a while. No wonder you're I single. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock Damn clearly right. knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to yeah, find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. All right, so are we going to do this my way then? Uh, do we have so to be far, invisible? so good. Revelio. Charming. Spiders, how fitting. Oh, shit. If he didn't say anything, I wouldn't have seen him. Because he's peeking around the corner. Oh, no, you don't. No, no, no. Save my life, Sebastian. I saw another one. You're strong. Die, you ate Smash by a rock. Oh, I wasted it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what did you do to that? Oh my god. Goodness. Turn around, please. Do it. Remember at the beginning of this game, I couldn't even fight the spiders, but now it's like it's not too bad. I fought so many of them. Almost as good as if I'd done it myself. There's another one somewhere. 
But we didn't kill one. Where is it? Oh. Is he just gonna chill? It's fine with me, I mean. Is he really just gonna- Oh, he disappeared. No, he didn't. Uh, spider? Hello? Levioso. What is going on here? Alright, anyways, I don't care. Just go. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Ooh, really his goblins. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry, friendly fire. Annoying little beasts, aren't they? Sebastian just sounds so done. The staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. You think? I wouldn't either with all these freaking eight legged creeps. If I had like a whole barrel of raid. Rebellion. Oh, oh, oh. I see more red shit. Does Bombardo want raid on them? It does. I'm not getting near you guys. Revenia. All right. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. You know there's gonna be a big mama spider somewhere. We had some technical difficulties, guys. I, I'm not sure where the recording left off, but I think we were in the middle of battling either, I'm hoping, some type of spiders. Um, and yeah, I did not realize that my recording had stopped, so we missed, you guys missed the tail end of Sebastian's quest. So I can quickly summarize it right now. We found... Isadora's memory and it pretty much was a replay of when she took the pain away from her father and Then we found some diaries. I'm not sure if it's in the recording uh, Pretty much what we saw on the other pensives with the keepers, right? They didn't trust her. They didn't agree with her and She felt pretty upset about it um, So yeah, we found the last piece of whatever you call it for her memory. Now Sebastian wants us to ask the keepers to show me the power 
that Isadora had so we could take Anne's pain away. And that's where we're at. That's all you guys missed. We were, I think, where the recording had left off. I'm hoping it was kind of close to the tail end. Um, I apologize, guys. So, but that's it. I promise. You guys did not miss much. Now we're off to help Lodgok. I know you kind of missed it when his letter <laughs> was received. But he's going to go try to do a solo mission and destroy the drill. Ryan Rock's drill. Pause! To, pre to prevent a war. So we're going to go on our way to help him. Hopefully we're not too late. I hope he doesn't die. I kind of... I didn't trust him at first, but I actually like him as a character now, so... I don't know. But yeah, I'm hoping... I'm Now I'm paranoid. I'm going to be looking to make sure that I am recording. Such a pain. I'm not sure why I just decided to switch off like that. Nice. I love popping balloons. Alright, we probably should be careful. This place looks like it'll be crawling full- well, I see wolves. I'm sure there's goblins. I don't want to hurt any of you guys. I knew it, I heard goblins. A lot of them here. I see two, three. Would you please meet with me in the great hall? I have come upon a difficult time, and I need a friend. Oh no! I just saw her. Well, you, I, you guys missed that too, but I met up with Natty. Just for girl chit chat. I'm really hoping that nothing more is left out of the recordings. Okay, are you facing me? Oh, there's two of you. He's facing me. I go around. Oh. Did he pee? Oh gosh. Oh, troll. I am, what is I am hearing? This mine could be hiding a secret. Ranrock and his loyalists. Uh -huh. oh, no sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. Maybe invisible. I'm assuming there's goblins all in here, right? Look at the size of this mine! Something seems wrong! Seriously, talk about this place little people is having big dreams. Loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. Avelia. Yeah, we do not want to be seen. I mean, Logok could easily just put on some armor and sneak in. Oh, this day has gone on too long. Oh, he's facing me. Oh, God, you have good eyesight. How am I supposed to get this guy? This must be locked from the other side. His friend didn't even care. Somewhere. Seems the coward fled. Mr. Dennis. 
Any clues? No? No clues? This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Just like Oh, this is fun. The time in the driver's seat this time. Do I have to control it? How deep will this take me? Redbone's going to be pleased with our progress. They're not going to notice a moving cart? That has to be the end up ahead. Like, oh my god, that was so much fun. If they had a ride like that, that'd be so cool. Anything we can do? What is that blue thing? Was oh, one of these? Could have been Okay, where is that exactly? Well, where was it? Well, it was right up there. How the frick am I supposed to get up there? Uh, do I just have to go around, maybe, through here? I don't think so, but... And what, there's gonna be some over here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them over there. Uh, there's a hole in my pocket. A hole in your pocket? This guy. Yeah, right in the shadows. Perfect. I'm supposed to go? No. I don't think so. Oh. Over here. No, not that. It didn't. I don't care about the potion. that coming from? They're not questioning that this thing is moving on its own. It's a ghost. Oh, it's whistling on my ear. those alone. I want this guy. No one. Can we investigate. There was more than I thought there was. I need you guys to go back, please. Where the hell is Lodgok, man? Watch it didn't even go in here. Why is 
start running all of a sudden. <laughs> Just in time. Let's just go. Incendio should be enough to light these flames. Yeah, okay. Avelia. Feels like I glitched. Seriously, if Lockhart dies, I'll be so sad. There's money lying around. Where's this drill that he was talking about? You will Another drill. Oh, he's is here. Complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. Yeah, but the man himself is Avelia. here. Oh, oh, what a troll! I could do with a nice mushroom stew now. Now. Oh God, there's a whole lot of you. Need the troll to turn around. Um, I think they expect me to fight them. his own people. Pillars destroy the drill. How do I do that? Okay. Should I be standing underneath here? Three out of five. I have to find a way to stop that drill. Oh, I see the drill right there. Got it. Okay. I was like, what drill? Run rock and pissed? Little brother? I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? My little brother. He's gonna kill him. It cannot be. What? All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. I knew it. He's gonna kill him. Don't. Are you all right? A 
I'll never understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time. What? Chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But He's now, gonna kill him. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was uh -oh. bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind. Protect him. Well, a little late for that. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's not gonna die. You're not gonna go back and save him. Nope, just gonna hightail it. Okay, that works. Poor Lord Gok, dead by his brother's hand. I knew he was gonna die. No wonder he tried that so was hard his real to brother? with him. How could he kill his own brother? I don't think I need to be invisible anymore. Now okay. to get out of this blasted place. This is not the way. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. Solitarian robe? Revelio. What's it doing here? Oh, I'm hearing that. I'm like, what is this bonking zone? That's where I need to go, I think. What is he doing anyway? Huh? I don't want to know. Don't care. Where did he go? Oh, way over there. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. there yep according to the owl I received Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated this is grave news indeed we had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward let us hear what the student has to say professor you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bradbore's journals. He killed Loggog to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Loggog. Loggog and Ranrock were brothers. Loggog was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. Mm -hmm. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bradbore's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Uh, he might have. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memory showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. 
Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Okay. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't talk more about that in front of the keepers. I mean, isn't it important? Alright, well, I guess not. Professor Fig has sent up a car's pensive. I think we're going to save that for the next episode. If you guys don't mind. So, again, sorry for half or part of the recording being missing. Um, but again, you didn't really miss much. You just kind of missed a little bit of dialogue between me and Sebastian, Isadora's memory, which pretty much wasn't any different from what we saw in the previous memory. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.